at the park. Things again. Good. Soft defense right there. Way too soft. Heat on offense. Right now we're going to go to Doris Burke who spoke with head coach Eric Spolster. What did you find out, Doris? I asked him what they needed to key in on defensively. And he said, well, we've got to limit penetration by Tony Parker. He's really the whole head of the snake. And with his floater, he doesn't need to get all the way to the rim to score. It's crucial that we do our best to keep him out no easy assignment. We'll see how much success they have defensively. Thanks again, Boris. Well, there's probably two areas of concern if you're a Miami fan. One is the depth of the front court, and the other is the point guard situation. Although last year, I thought Mario Chalmers had an excellent season. And Norris Cole was a, a surprise, the rookie out of Cleveland State. Here's Diao following the basket by LeBron James. Parker drives in. That's good. Parker's got his second basket of the game. That's an old-fashioned finish there, guys. Going to the finger roll to get the easy two. And back to Miami. If they can see their young players, and Steve just mentioned this, growing that front guard role as they did last year, then really, Clark, you know, front court depth will be their only concern going to from this point on. And that's a pretty short list of concerns to have with your team. I mean, the Heat will always have to worry about depth to some degree, given how they're built around the big three, but it looks like they won't have too many point guard issues going forward. The Spurs have gone two for four from the field so far today. And he lays it straight in. Parker's got seven points in the game. He has so much confidence, guys. What a finish. LeBron with a screen on Parker. And Chalmers kicks to LeBron. He passes to Wade. Daddy outside. Six on the shot clock. You know, defense that time was just content to stay out of the way. I mean, no resistance at all. They let him do exactly what he wanted to right there. <laughs> Steve, no one but two edges to take him on. No, you know, guys, I think that speaks to his strength and his agility. I mean, there's, it's not a guy you want to stand in the way of as a defender. Here is Parker. He's getting the buck. Green takes the Parker. Over Chalmers. And the Spurs scoring again. Here's Wade. Well, you know, Tony Parker, ever since he entered the league as a young 19-year-old, has been one of the real speed merchants. I mean, now in his third, you wonder how much longer he'll have those deals. But so far, no slowing him down to this point. Really the foundation of Tony Parker's offensive game. A lot of blow bites in there, Steve. He has a, a great knack of finding room and making it work once he gets in the lane. Yeah, unbelievably fast. And he's got that floating leaner. It's so difficult to block in the paint. So, but to me, that's the key to his offensive game. He can get past you and he can score in a variety of ways in the paint. Well, Bosch is a skilled power forward. He has a polished face-up game. What he really wants to do is catch the ball 15, 17 feet out, turn, face, and use either that jump shot or the quickness to get around his defender. Well, a big part of his versatility is the accurate jump shot. I mean, able to spread the floor for his teammates as penetrators, and with his 6'11 height, it's a tough shot to recover to. Get on his hassle. He's checked in for the heat. You know, for such a long time, the Spurs were looked to as an annual threat to win it all, especially with Tim Duncan in his prime. But the last few years, people haven't taken San Antonio seriously, but they still win consistently, night in and night out. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes play in the first quarter. Wade dishes to LeBron. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Thinking about the Spurs, a lot of it just seems to be habit for them. Winning has certainly become a habit for them. Yeah, they have the players to compete, but by no means do they seem 
overpowering to any other team. Pop is a great coach, Greg Popovich, and gets the most out of him, and that's a big part of it, Kevin. Now, here's Jones. Dishes it to Bosch. Covered by Parker. Saves and shoots. No good from Bosch. He operates pretty well in traffic, guys, but that was a tough play to finish off. And Parker, here we go. Bonner passes to Parker. Tries for the alley -oop. Oh, and he hit the way of the alley -oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Pass to Chalmers. Teardrop shot. Can't get it to go. Spurs leading by four. Jackson kicks the joke. Can I hit? That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. Now eight seconds separate the two clocks. The drive by LeBron. And again, it's the Heat missing. The defense got away with one there. I mean, usually it'll hurt you if you give him that kind of a shot. Here's Ginobili looking for his first bucket of the game. Parker kicks to split it. With four seconds on the clock. Puts up a prayer. Can't get it to go. And we reach the end of the first quarter. It's the Spurs. They 